Okay, we're back with another episode of the lockdown series. Uh, yesterday we, we covered um, uh, my boots and today I thought, well, let's bring out the pants, seeing that we're going from the feet up to the head. Goodbye, Phoebe. Go for a run, buddy. Um, or girl. So, uh, the pants that I'm wearing, uh, I live in, live in these pants, uh, whether I'm off the bike or on the bike. Uh, I live in these pants and they are Exculture. I've been sponsored by Exculture for quite a few years now. Um, Preston is graciously giving me um, pants as, as I need them. Um, so there's five different pairs that I wear on a frequent basis and I'll give you the reasons why I wear this one and why I wear this one and, and, and so on and, and also discuss their the fit. The first one we have here is the, which one is this? This is the Exculture, the the Biker X, the Biker X um, riding jeans. And now, one thing about these jeans is that uh, all of them, all the men's jeans and the ladies, uh, have ballistic nylon and also impact resistance in the knees and the butt area. Uh, also, they have a, a cotton lay on the inside to make it nice and comfortable for you. Uh, but uh, the difference, the main differences are on this one, you can see it's a more of a an extreme cut, the stitching on the knee, and also the pipes on the Biker X is slightly narrower than uh, the, other, the, the next jean I'm going to be talking about. But this is the Biker X, uh, very comfortable, really, especially for us guys in the crotch area, it's not too tight. Um, a, a, a normal touring boot can easily fit under these, under these pants, so it's not so tight that you can't, um, it's not like these legging some, some some people wear so you can easily bring the the pants over over a touring boot not necessarily for a, an off-road boot that won't fit in there but again uh, very durable um, and comfortable to wear x cultures uh, biker x this i wear on a on a frequent basis for everyday riding and easily going on a long trip um, not a problem it's got enough pockets one for your cell phone right there if you want to slot that in there, some change, your keys, and so on. So there's enough, enough pockets to suit any man's needs. The next one is the classic, classic jeans. You can see there's no stitching on the, on the, on the legs. In other words, this is like almost a pair of jeans if you're allowed to wear jeans to work. This is a pair of jeans that you can easily wear to work. There's no extreme stitching, although you do have padding in the knee, and you also have ballistic nylon sewn into the fabric. Um, but this is a more... Uh, casual friendly type, type um, riding pants and there's no cell phone pouch on this one although you still have your change there and your key, have your keys, your key, uh, key, um, key clip um, on the back it's also and this is a very nice and comfortable pair of pants the, the, the pipes are nice and wide so it's nice and loose fitting or, or your typical jeans uh, classic fit or regular fit uh, it's not a tight fit at all so it's, it's, it's really nice and relaxed for those guys who have a real pair of calves or, or a, a bigger upper legs, then uh, this pair of pants will really um, suit you. But like I said, yeah, for every day you're wearing to work and back and you won't even look like a biker when you get to work. All right, that's the classic. The type of the denim gray that we have in here is, is the same as, as in the Biker X. There's no difference in the denim grade between the two or the ballistic nylon grade. What I do like about the classic, sorry, is that the, the padding in the knee is slightly longer than that you have in the Biker X. The Biker X is slightly shorter. So this one covers a little bit more over the knee and down below the kneecap than what the, the, the Biker X does, um, but still very comfortable. The next one is, let's dig into the bottom here. This is the Breezy Over. I know you get the Easy Over as well. There is a, um, a rain proof or waterproof uh, pants that you wear, zip over your normal pair of pants if you wear chinos to work or, or very neat flannel pants or whatever then you can pay, wear the um, easy over, over over those pants if it's going to rain otherwise if you want to wear normal pants or even shorts under uh, under riding pants then you can zip this over your over yourself and um, you're still protected you still have the padding in the knee it zips off quite nicely all the way to the bottom so you put them up almost like a pair of chaps and um, also you can see the pipe is quite wide so you can easily fit an off-road boot in there if you if you have to 
um, or any office office shoes. I know the easy, the easy over has got an extension on the front there that covers the front part of your shoe, so that if you do here when you do hit rain, that you don't just get water soaking into your um, into your shoes. But pockets everywhere, sewn in padding in the back here, just below the waist, and uh, on the front as well. You've got your key clip there, and uh, yeah, it's very good for ventilation. Um, a nice and cool pair of pants if you want to zip it over your or over a pair of shorts. I've done that. Uh, it feels awkward, but I've done that uh, where I zip it over a pair of shorts and off I go. Um, yeah. All right. The next one is the enduro pants. Very much the same style as the Biker X, as far as uh, stitching on the legs are concerned. You can see the the the. the um, pouch there where the padding goes into the knee it's, it's, it's all the stitching there it looks quite extreme a very nice pair of pants with the reflector strips on the back if you do ride at night and you also have your your pockets on the side diagonally fitted to the to the leg easily you can fit a you know, one of these phablet or, or, or big mobile phones in there as well and then what you have there is a little card uh, pouch the tear away that you can put your petrol card or your debit card in there so if you hit toll gates then you can just pull the card out there and zip it through the uh, at the gate there and off you go again. But um, this is made of Cordura, the same fabric as what you have on the Breezy Over. Uh, it's Cordura fabric, um, resistant for abrasion and very cool, really very cool. Even in the crotch area you have a mesh there, so it really gives you a good ventilation uh, all over. It's not a hot pair of pants at all, uh, any time of the year for winter and some of the areas in this country I would not recommend you wear this because it's too cool. Uh, you would rather have to go for something like one of the denims, the classic or the Biker X for winter riding uh, with uh, uh, thermals under, under underneath. But uh, this is for summer riding, uh, even that breezy over, it's for summer riding. It's got a raised back uh, as well and removable padding that you can take out from the, from the butt area. This is the new molded padding that you get from, from, from Preston. Um, it's an option over the standard padding that you get with these pants. I think it's about a 400 and something rand option to replace all the, the standard padding in the pants with these new ones. Um, it's a pour-on pour -on protection uh, and it really wraps around your knee and around your butt cheeks when you fit them. Oh yeah, there we go. So that's, that's, the, that's the Enduro. It, it doesn't say that you, you ride with this Enduro. It's just what the style is called. So there you have it, your, your key clip, and it'll slip there to run your keys through so your keys don't fly all over the place if you have a big, a big uh, bunch of keys. And um, yeah, very comfortable, uh, loose fitting. Uh, the pipes are not that wide, uh, that, that, that uh, narrow, so it's a very comfortable pair of pants. So yeah, uh, I'll tell you which one is my favorite in a moment. The next one is the Dakar. There you can see already, you can see it's the same, same fabric as you have on the other pants. This is a lighter weight, not a heavy weight uh, Cordura like you have here, it's a lighter weight fabric. Still uh, very much water repellent to a, to a, to a certain point and uh, abrasion resistant. But then you have these zips, heavy duty zips on the back of the pants if you want to fit that over an off-road boot. So you'll zip that open, bring them over your off-road boot and zip, zip the pants closed behind, behind the boot again. Uh, and it, and it holds it down at the bottom. Um, also a raised back, if you, can, if you can see that, a raised back, so it makes it quite comfortable. Uh, I think, yeah, uh, it's just sometimes when you're in your riding position that you sit, the jacket can creep up or whatever, and uh, this prevents that, keeps the back nice and, nice and warm. Um, and the same kind of style as what you have on the, on the Enduro, the key clip with the, with the little strap there to run your keys through when it hangs to keep them in one place and then a nice little pocket on this side the same card tear away for a quick pull out of your credit or debit card if you add at a pay point and then here's a, also a tear away pouch for your cell phone it fits my S10 plus perfectly with room to spare another pocket on the side here so uh, the Dakar also a nice and comfortable fit uh, also with an, a padding in the knee and ballistic nylon sewn into the fabric and uh, yeah, loose fitting. It's not as not as tight as the. I'm not saying the Biker X is tight. It's just it's the the the, the, the pipe is slightly uh, narrower than than the classic, for instance, or the or the um, Enduro Enduro pants. As far as my favorite is concerned, it would have to be the Dakar. 
I because I ride um, a DP, the Adventure, uh, the Africa Twin behind me. Um, I find myself riding in my Dakar pants quite often, except if I have to go and see clients. Then I obviously I'll put on my um, breezy over over a normal pair of office pants, or I wear um, if it's a casual client, I wear my classic jeans um, there. But if I'm going distance uh, all over the country, except for winter of course, then I wear my Dakar or I wear the the enduro pants. It's, they are very comfortable, very cool. You don't feel uncomfortable sweating or whatever that case may be. It's really, it's really cool. And also still in the, in the crotch area, you have that mesh there just to give you some ventilation. Um, I personally, I think Preston has done over the years has done an excellent job in uh, manufacturing these pants. Um, and uh, it definitely deserves uh, anyone's support because it's locally made right here in South Africa. Uh, the, his website address, I'll put it on the screen for you to have a look, xculture.com. Have a look, you can easily order these pants online. Make sure that you measure yourself properly. He provides guiding uh, guidelines as, uh, as far as measurements concerned for your waist and your inseam. So yeah, that's at X Culture. Um, I, I, I love these pants. Um, I've never ridden with anything else. Uh, why would I? Because I have these, and yes, for all, all these years, since 2005, um, Preston has been sponsoring me and I've been doing some silly stuff being dragged behind the back of my butt to test the pants and so on. So X culture pants, absolutely in my book for me personally, it's the best I can do because number one, I support local. Number two, uh, Preston is, 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 my, is my friend and I'll support him as well. And uh, uh, there's nothing wrong with these pants. Um, hands down, nothing wrong with them. And they are very affordable because it's made locally. Guys, thanks a lot. That's it in a, in a, in a nutshell. Um, thanks again for tuning in to the second episode. Um, until tomorrow, please uh, yeah, stay safe, stay healthy, stay home. Um, and I'll see you uh, tomorrow with the next thing we're going to talk about, talk about. I'm not sure yet. I'll leave, it, I'll leave it as a surprise. Thanks for watching. Cheers.